ഇന്ന് നമ്മൾ പത്താം ക്ലാസ്സിലെ ഒന്നാമത്തെ അധ്യായമായ സെൻസേഷൻസ് ആൻഡ് റെസ്പോൺസ് അതിലെ ആദ്യ ഭാഗത്തിലെ ചോദ്യങ്ങളാണ് വിശകലനം ചെയ്യുന്നത് ലുക്ക് അറ്റ് ദ ഫസ്റ്റ് ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ ദ ഫോളോയിങ് ഫിഗർ ഷോസ് ഡിസ്ട്രിബ്യൂഷൻ ഓഫ് അയോൺസ് ഓൺ ഇതർ സൈഡ് ഓഫ് ദ പ്ലാസ്മ മെമ്പറിൻ ഓഫ് ദ ആക്സോൺ Analyze the figure and answer the following. The cross section of axon is given. Then the first question. Why is there a difference in charge distribution on either side of the plasma membrane? The change in charge is due to the difference in the distribution of certain ions. We know on either side of the plasma membrane, there are certain ions are distributed. The outer surface consists of positively charged ions. and inner surface consists of negatively charged ions second part of this question is what changes to the stimulus create in the charges on either side of the plasma membrane how do these changes get transmitted through the axon as impulse this is an important question we know when a neuron is stimulated the distribution of ions in that particular part changes and hence the inner surface become positively charged and the outer surface become negatively charged this momentary charge difference stimulates its adjacent part and similar change occurs there too as this process proceeds impulse get transmitted as electrical charges observe the next question impulses are formed due to the change in the distribution of ions on either side of the plasma membrane of a neuron The question is what changes occurs to the charges on either side of the plasma membrane during impulse formation which factor causes this the same question is already discussed the answer is the inner surface become positively charged and the outer surface become negatively charged the factor which cause this change is stimuli stimulus which create this change in charge on either side of the plasma membrane next question a synapse is only the junction between two neurons do you agree with this statement why we know what is synapse synapse is the junction between two neurons or a neuron and a muscle cell or a neuron and a glandular cell so the statement is incorrect we cannot agree with this statement next question Which of the following statements are correct in connection with the transmission of impulse through synapse? Option A. Transmit from the cell body of one neuron to the cell body of adjacent neuron. Option B. Transmit from the synaptic knob of one neuron to the dendrite of adjacent neuron. Option C. Transmit from the synaptic knob of one neuron to the axonite of adjacent neuron. Option D. transmit from the dendrite of one neuron to the axonite of adjacent neuron we know what is synapse the synapse is always between the synaptic knob of one neuron and the dendrite of another neuron so here the correct statement is b it transmit impulses from the synaptic knob of one neuron to the dendrite of adjacent neuron next question observe the figure and answer the questions in this figure we can see two parts indicated x and y so the first question is explain the transmission of impulses from x to y then the second question what is the significance of neurotransmitter in this process the first question transmission of impulse from x to y when electric impulse from the axon reach the synaptic knob certain chemical substances are secreted from there to the synaptic cleft these chemical substances are called neurotransmitters they stimulate the adjacent dendrite or cell as a result new electric impulses are generated hence the electric impulse from the first neuron is transmitted to the second neuron the second question significance of neurotransmitter we know the neurotransmitters stimulate the adjacent dendrite or cell as a result new electric impulses are generated so the function of neurotransmitters are which helps in the transmission of impulses across the synapse next question there are three pictures are given they are denoted as a b and c so the question is identify the synapses indicated a b and c 
The first one is synapses between two neurons. B indicates synapse between a neuron and a muscle cell. C indicates synapse between a neuron and a glandular cell. Next question. The flowchart given below indicates the transmission of impulse from one neuron to another. Complete the flowchart using the data given in the box. So the flowchart begins with the stimulus. The stimulus is transmitted to dendrite. Then A, B, C, D, E, F are given. Impulses from dendrite received by the dendron. From dendron, impulse reaches the cell body. From cell body to axon. Axon to axonite. Axonite to synaptic knob. When the impulses reaches the synaptic knob, Neurotransmitters are secreted. So, F indicates neurotransmitter. So, the parts A dendron, B cell body, C axon, D axonite, E synaptic knob, and F neurotransmitter. It is very important in the examination point of view. Next question How do the sensory neuron and motor neuron differ in their function? We know depending on the direction of impulse transmission, there are two types of neuron. One is sensory neuron, which carries impulses to the brain and spinal cord and the motor neuron carry impulses from the brain and spinal cord to various parts of the body. This is a major difference between sensory neuron and motor neuron. Next question. Observe the figure of a nerve and answer the question. A. Identify the parts indicated X. Here the part indicated X is axon. Next question. What is the role of connective tissue in the formation of nerve? The connective tissue covers the axon or nerve fibers in the nerve. As a result, a nerve is formed. Next question. Analyze the illustration and answer the question. Different parts of the body. A. Central nerve system. B. Different parts of the body. Identify the nerve indicated A and B. A means impulses are carried from different parts of the body to central nerve system. Such nerves are called a sensory nerve. So, A is sensory nerve. And B carries impulses from central nervous system to different parts of the body. So, B is motor nerve. The second question, name the nerve that performs the functions of both nerves A and B. That means the nerve which carries impulses from different parts of the body to central nervous system and vice versa. Such nerves are called mixed nerves. So, the answer of question B is mixed nerve. Next question, the illustration of a nerve based on its function is given. A to B, the direction of impulse is given. A means organ, B is central nervous system. Identify the nerve depicted in the illustration. This is a question similar to the previous question. So, the nerve is sensory nerve. Identify the nerve that carries impulses to and from A to B. We know the answer is mixed nerve. Next question, complete the table. The first part of the table indicates nerves and their peculiarity and the second part is function. So, the first one sensory nerve which is formed of sensory nerve fibers and its function is carries impulses from various parts of the body to brain and spinal cord. And second one the function carries impulses from brain and spinal cord to various parts of the body. Such nerves are called a motor nerve and which are formed of motor nerve fibers. And the third one carries impulses to and from brain and spinal cord. We know such a nerves are called a mixed nerve and they are formed of sensory nerve fibers and motor nerve fibers. The last question in this part, complete the illustration. Here the illustration is given as nervous system which is classified into central nervous system and an option is given. We know nervous system is classified into central nervous system and peripheral nervous system. So, A is peripheral nervous system. Then the central nervous system consists of brain and the next part is spinal cord. Peripheral nervous system consists of cranial nerves and spinal nerve. So, the answer is cranial nerve. We know there are 12 pair of cranial nerve and 31 pair of spinal nerve. Namal Patanglasile, Onamadhyamaya, sensations and responses. Adhi Bagatale Chodhing Lana Parija Patade, Vila Shingal Ningalke, Vectama Manasla Tundana Padishikanu, Uttarangal, Kritema in Nirishichi, the Lashingal Manasilaka, I the Purnama in Padikanoda Ningalke, A plus Levikuanolade, or a par. Elaurkum, Nani, Namskara.